Man alone has a hand. He uses it as a tool, as a symbol and as a weapon. As an organ of performance, it serves as eyes for the blind, the mute talk with it, and it has become a symbol of salutation and prayer. Human hands are valuable as signatures because they cannot be altered or forged, and its intricate patterns differ from finger to finger and from individual to individual. Thus, loss of hands is a form of loss of identity. This is a historic tale of a man who regained his identity and his will to live, rising from despair to hope. This is the story of Manu. Manu was just like any 27 year old, with eyes full of dreams and a heart full of hope. He had a comfortable home and a family that loved and supported him in all his endeavors. Manu decided to visit the Sri Mukambika temple in Mangalore. He boarded the train at Ednaklam, not knowing that this journey would be the ultimate test of faith and perseverance, a journey that would transform his life. As he stood by the door of a crowded compartment, he witnessed a group of hooligans harassing a young couple. Unable to bear their plight, he stepped up and asked them to stop. Later, the hooligans cornered him and threw him out of the train. Pineda, any ki baadam parimbo. Jan Trishur Medical College Hospital hai. Yende dehatu murvan murugalu kaigal valiya bandhe jo vech kaori di ke mere. Aa samay to ender kootgaan aur jan chodu chu endu aada enda kaigal ko bati. Aven anneram unnum bidna de porote di rinja karanju ond. Eni ke evan dina karayen de num apola eni ke manusla hai. Korche samay to ne jaisham doctor vanna dressi yaam endi e bandhe jo vala ichi enja po. Enda kayil, iru kayipati orang mila ya. Aduh, walare orang narikat orang, walare beradane orang gudi jangan cerit cerit. Enda jiwa itu nasta pata lagi. The accident dealt a devastating blow to Manu and his family. He turned into a recluse. The once outgoing and eager 27-year-old was now left homebound and dependent on others for the simplest of things. Kaygal nasta pata, enda jiwa itu ne, walari adigam olah cikal. Enda bete garu, kute garu, enda odu walras naya tuod perimari, enda awasinggal allah, nara bete terigin cedirin nalo. Ceria ceria karinggal ay, bathroom pula, pasangan garik ya, enda wekik boleh matu lalu ay asrai gende beri nol. Enda samudin jor dolo, walari besam ondai kuntri. Asa meh tu matu lalu ay enda odu kani kena sagat awam boleh, eni ke walari dosa mai tu. Iri diil, enda jiwa itu munno tu kondo ono. Adio alam adio, ada yang itu entah ni lola cuti. But destiny had other plans. His younger brother Shanu heard about the hand transplant program being set up at the Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences during a TV interview of the lead surgeon, Dr. Subramanya Iyer. He brought Manu to the hospital to meet with Dr. Iyer and discuss the possibility of a bilateral hand transplant. After several rounds of discussions, Manu was finally listed in the registry for the Kerala network of organ sharing. Once the decision of the transplant was made, we had to start our preparations. Lot of departments were involved and we had to build up a huge team of more than 30 doctors. And the departments included hand and microsurgery, orthopedic surgery, anesthesia, we needed to have immunology support as well as support from the transplant, nursing and ICU care. All this was made and then we had several meetings among ourselves to chalk out the program. Along with this, Manu and his family had intensive counselling sessions. They were told about the procedure, they were explained about the need of taking medications uh, throughout his life then the requirement of Manu to intensively do physiotherapy during at least for one year after the transplant. Even though all these preparations had been made, the 
greatest hurdle was the availability of a suitable donor with a suitable hands for money. The wait was finally over when the family of a brain dead road traffic accident victim made the bold and noble gesture of agreeing to donate their son Benoit's hands to Manu. Tests to check the viability of the organ were conducted and it was declared a good match. The 16-hour surgery was a daunting task. We divided into four teams. Two teams were designated to procure hands from the donor and two teams were there to prepare Manu's hands for the transplant. This was actually a race against time as we had to re-establish the blood supply at the earliest and at the same time in each hand connect around 35 structures independently to make it functional. One of the greatest team efforts in the annals of Indian surgery resulted in victory with Manu drinking a glass of water with his own hands, a feat that he thanked Binoy for. Over the next 12 months, Manu, with the tireless support of his team of physiotherapists, had to retrain himself to perform everyday tasks such as eating, handling objects and the like. With slow yet steady effort, Manu could do things he had not done in two years. Manu found himself filled with a renewed vigour to help others who have gone through what he has. His dedication to his hand rehabilitation training enabled him to be employed as a transplant counselling assistant at the same department in the Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences. Manu's transformation would not have been possible without Binoy. Binoy's hands were gifted hands that created exquisite glass paintings. They were hands that served and cared for his bedridden father for 12 years. And now, through the gift of organ donation, Binoy's hands will carry forth the selfless service that they were trained to perform by their former master. Manu's story is quite remarkable. He came to us with no hands, quite desperate. Now look at him. He is full of enthusiasm. He is full of yearning to help other people, to help the people who have lost hands, and those hands have become expert in hand rehabilitation. All this has been possible because of the work of a bold, uh, professional team but we have to remember that this was possible because there was a dedicated institution above all the blessings of Amma with the team. Avevangal Nashtapata Jeevatinde Valare Durdabur Namaya Austi Maranate Muhammuhan Kanana Anega Iram Dogigal Namukadeilum Aveva Mata Shastra Kreilude Avare Jeevatinde Sando Shakaramaya of the Lake, Tiria Kunduva, Namukin Sadi Adina Yetu Nala Udaharnamana, Ningal Kumunilikina, Ina Marana Shasham, Avevangal Dan and Jeeva 
അധികം ആളുകൾ തയ്യാറാകാത്തത് കൊണ്ട് ശാസ്ത്രത്തിൻ്റെ ഈ പുരോഗതി വേണ്ട വിധത്തിൽ വിനിയോഗിക്കുവാൻ നമുക്കിന്ന് സാധിക്കുന്നില്ല അവയവദാനം ഒരു മഹദ്ദാനമാണ് നിങ്ങളെല്ലാവരും അതിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കുകയും അതിനെ വിജയിപ്പിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് വിനീതനായി അഭ്യർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു Thank you.